Today I'm going to show you how to make a temporary fix to a slick 88 tripod. Like many people I've purchased a second hand tripod and found that this quick release post which would normally be situated in here is missing and I've looked up the actual part to order and discovered the name of the part it's called a slick 612 quick release post but it's going to take some time to arrive and I want to use this tripod this weekend so what can we do to remedy the situation you will need a quarter inch screw and it helps if it has a head which is not too wide on the end the ideal length of them would be one inch long mine is short by about a quarter of an inch but it doesn't matter because you can use these which which save the situation these are three eighths of an inch tap washers which i find readily available at diy stores and hardware stores near me and you will need a pack of them i bought a pack of 10. the other thing that is handy is to have a couple of shimmies i just used a couple of ends from ice cream sticks which i keep spare for such little projects this is so that my fitting here the quick release fitting can actually just be held as a permanent fixture until my replacement part arrives because i don't want to remove this i want this to stay in for my camera and the shimmies obviously so the whole thing then works the tools that you will require will require adult supervision or of course if you're already of the correct age to use them you will need a pair of scissors um, these are uh, wire cutters and these are basic uh, pliers. Uh, helps if you've got a short section of bungee and some elastic bands and maybe some of these as electrical insulation tape can be handy for the fix. The first problem you will have is that the 3 8 of an inch tap washers have a, a circle inside which is too small to fit on the quarter inch screw that you need to have a number of to make the replacement part. To remedy this you will need to put the tap washer onto a pair of scissors and this is where you need to have take care because it is obviously very sharp. Put the tap washer as far up as you can gentle pushing then you're going to need to rotate it without cutting yourself obviously so take great care because there is a blade a very sharp blade along this side. So move slowly okay and you need to basically go round and around. You might need to do this a couple of hundred times. And the idea is, if I remove this, it takes little shavings off. Can you see that? And you need enough shavings taken off so that the inner circle of this will fit snugly on your quarter inch screw. I just carried on doing this until eventually it was large enough, as you can see, because it tapers, so that it would fit very easily and snugly on the quarter inch screw. Here you can see on my screw here, which is only three quarter of an inch long, the quarter inch screw, I've actually put three of these shimmies onto the screw, okay? Now, it wasn't quite long enough to fit inside um, the mechanism of the slick 88 tripod, so all I did is I put an extra one, which I didn't have to cut any extra um, hole inside, underneath it as a shimmy, so that goes in first, followed by this on top which then fits the top of that will fit flush and you'll need to shimmy it either side with a bit of a couple of ice cream sticks which i wedge in very carefully and this is where a flat nose pliers can help you because you can help to shimmy these in and of course if you want to remove it it's not really quick release but if you want to remove it any decent pliers okay preferably with a bit of a point on them can be used to remove and to help to assist to put these um, shimmies in which came from ice cream sticks and of course if you've got um, the correct size bolt which I reckon would be an inch long uh, a quarter inch obviously the size of it but an inch long quarter inch thread then you'd be able to um, put the correct number of shimmies on you probably put I need four of these onto your one inch bolt and it should fit flush and then shimmy it with your ice bits of your ice cream sticks either side and using your pliers to put the shimmies in and if you want to remove it again you can use these pliers to take it out the only reason i used the wire cutter ones was of course to cut the ice cream stick and again take care with that with sharp blades so there you have your quick fix and i'll show you how i put it in on the tripod here is the parts 
present for your homemade um, quick release post well I just call it a release post rather than quick release uh, the first thing I do because mine is only three quarter of an inch long my quarter inch nut is you put your shimmy in first so go into your slick 88 you drop your shimmy in first there okay and that should go straight down to the bottom here then you put your post in this way with the head that way okay you should find as I've told you that this should fit flush okay now there is as you can as you know on these tripods here a device here which 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 will grip the correct part which when it arrives in the post that as you can see if you look down there is when it's open and when it's shut it goes like that can you see that with that device there okay so that's open that's when you put the post in that's closed so you should have it like that when you put your replacement part in so I've got my shimmy in I put my post quick release post in there okay I then activate the pin it's nearly flush but you can see it's wobbling around a bit isn't it so it's not quite right that's where shimmy's come in we're nearly done all you've got to do is put your ice cream stick ends put the curved side down uh, on your shimmies don't put it on the side where the actual uh, little nut comes out there put one down say one side there to one side of it there look that's flush nearly done and you could put another one down on next to it if you want say and the idea is well if I push that one down first I've then got some space on this side either side of it as you can see and this is obviously where your um, other part will come in handy it doesn't matter if these there you go I've pushed that down myself using my own strength and you should find that, that this part here at the top could be flush if it's not quite flush don't break your tripod you could just gent gently use your pliers if they're flat than mine it'd be better to push this rubber tap washer down just a little bit yeah you can see that's gone down a bit to make it even more flush like so and now you're done obviously if you've got the longer quarter inch one it'll you won't need the shimmy underneath but there you go with three in, three eighth of an inch tap washers quarter inch thread uh, screw with a flat head on it probably an inch long is best and two shimmy to hold it I'm not planning on taking this out so I'm not it's not a quick release post it's a temporary post your camera should then fit snug on top of there now as you can see that's where the quarter inch um, thread must fit in and I've basically put it on top of the quarter inch thread and I can feel that the thread is actually taking slowly does it okay again I did tell you it's just a temporary fix while you order the correct part and already I can feel that's biting okay and possibly it might take one more turn but I'm not gonna push it okay that's actually snug on okay with my camera screwed quite tight onto the post as such it's stable and I can have the camera at any angle I like it's not gonna wobble okay with this temporary fix okay but for extra security I would advise that you do put an extra belt and braces on so no harm just to make sure if you want to that you add something like a little bungee you can put a bungee on for instance um, you could have a bungee that could run from say this post here okay underneath there wrap it underneath your camera over the top of the camera every camera would have its own particular area which you could fix it on and I've just got this as an extra aid and that that way if there is any is any particular moment or my post fails which it shouldn't do because it's screwed on tight and wedged in then the camera is just a little bit more stable than it might be say if it's windy okay once you've finished using your camera with this temporary fix of a hold uh, post then all you've got to do is bring it back to level again make sure it is level okay lock it lock lock all your other um, devices on it and the horizontal one remove the belt and braces uh, your bungee or elastic bands whatever setup you've got okay there you go so I take that off okay make sure that's clear then you're left with the camera on the tripod take care hold the straps of your camera and any lens hoods obviously put them back on your camera okay then of course you're gonna have to unscrew it um, in this case I'm unscrewing it um, counterclockwise okay 
slowly hold your camera slowly I'm just moving counterclockwise as you can see make sure you take control of your camera because this is a temporary fix if you hold the straps of the camera like I'm doing you see my hands holding the straps of the camera um, it makes it safer so that if the camera does drop I've got it by the straps okay slowly off and there you go and there's the temporary fix there still in place wedged rigidly okay with the little sort of nipple that clamps inside there now I've used 3 8 of an inch tap washers um, if you find other sizes fit maybe slightly larger I don't know what the next size up but this one works with the wedges and of course the little nipple from here that cuts into it holds it steady and you can see that it's fairly flush with the top here which is what you want to hold your camera